In the past, if you wanted to collaborate with a lot of people, you would have to buy multiple servers to power and support an application or site online. You would have to manage the service yourself in order to make sure that your application is reliable to run smoothly. If a lot of people were using your site or application at the same time, it would run slower or not work correctly. You would also lose money because it would have to pay continuously even for the time that you are not using the application. It is also difficult to update because there is a risk of the whole system crashing. For business and website managers, this is a big problem. These days, cloud computing solves all of these problems. With cloud computing, you use a cloud service like Google or Yahoo to support your application or site. This means that you don't own all of it, just a small part. You don't have to worry about your application or site getting lost or destroyed because it's not saved to a hard drive. It is in a central location disconnected from your personal computer. Cloud computing is where you don't rely on your own server or the combined servers of another person or company. Instead, you rely on the cloud, which charges you only based on the amount of resources you need from the computer. It is flexible. If you need more space, it will expand to meet your needs. If you aren't using as much power, it will shrink to fit the amount of traffic your site gets. This is handy because using a service means that you don't need to update individually. The service provides checks and maintenance. Instead of having an individual data center, you share a part of one far away from your own computer and share virtual applications. This is Fred. He is a teacher who wants to give out information to his students through the internet, but he doesn't want to have to buy a lot of servers to support the amount of students that will be visiting his site. Good thing he knows about cloud computing, because now he can just sign up for a free account on Google and collaborate easily with the students. Now Fred hands out homework online. He uses an application called Google Forms, a cloud computing app, which he can edit to fit his own needs. All of his students have access to this cloud server. Students can enter information from their personal computers around campus, and Professor Fred receives all the information on a single page. Through cloud computing, the students in Fred's classes can also work together on projects without having to use the old time consuming method of email. They can also contribute to the same website and access it easily. Yay, Fred!